CryptoLocker is a type of ransomware, and ransomware locks your computer, or in this particular case, individual files, and prevents access until money is paid to the malware writers. In this video, I'll show you the malware program running. So this is my computer. If we have a look in my documents, there are a few uh, office files. If we try and open them, they open fine. We can try opening the Excel uh, spreadsheet. We can try opening a Word document. So now we want to actually try and get the malware onto this computer. You might receive it via email, you might get it via a USB pen, it might be downloaded because your computer is part of a botnet, which means malware is already running on the computer. In this case, I'm going to try and actually paste the uh, malicious program onto the desktop. And straight away, because Sophos is running, the problem begins and ends here. You're, you're prevented from doing so. If you face this situation, you're fine. But actually, to show you the malware running, I'm going to have to stop the on access scanner. So I'm logged on as a uh, administrator of the computer, and if I go to um, the antivirus settings, and actually you can see the um, on access scanning is greyed out. That's because I've got tamper protection enabled. And even though I'm an administrator, I have to authenticate. That's an extra level of protection that Sophos offers. So now we can configure on access scanning and we can uncheck the option and apply it. The program warns us what we're doing. We get a pop up in the corner and even if we acknowledge that the operating system itself warns us. So basically we're totally unprotected now. But let's try and paste that to the file again. And there, there's no problem. It's straight on the computer. So it's a file inside a zip. We open the zip file up, drag out the uh, file. We have a look at the actual extension. It says it's a .pdf here. I just want to show you this because this is a trick sometimes malware writers use. But it says it's a .pdf, but if we go into our tools folder options and actually reveal all of the file extensions, even the ones that we know about, we can have a look again and now we can see it's actually a .pdf.exe so it was strange that this uh, the icon for the file isn't actually uh, an adobe icon so if you double click on it now and if you watch the icon it disappears it's preserving itself now if we have a look uh, on the desktop we can't actually see anything we have to go to the task manager if we move to the processes uh, tab we order the uh, image name which of the process is running. We can see we've got a couple of strangely named processes running. They look very suspicious. But actually we can't actually see anything on the desktop causing any problems. You wouldn't think there's any problem at all. If we have a look back at our files. They're fine, it's still open them. Try the um, spreadsheet. And even try and save it. That looks fine. There doesn't seem to be a problem. You wouldn't know anything was going off. And what it's actually doing at the moment is the malware is contacting the central server set up by the malware writers and is setting up a um, encryption key pair, which basically means a public key and a private key. And the public key is used to encrypt the files and the private key is saved on the server and only on the server and is used to uh, decrypt them. And because it's not available anywhere but from the malware writers, um, there's no way of decrypting the files. So we just have to give this a few minutes and all of a sudden our background changes, something's going off, we've got a pop up. If we minimise uh, my documents, we can actually have a look at the file. And we see we've got a countdown timer of 72 hours basically. It says your personal files are encrypted. It tells us that the uh, RSA, um, um, sorry, the encryption used is RSA and it's quite strong. It's a, a basic wizard with next and back. And it's straight away asking for um, a payment option. You can use MoneyPack if you're in the USA. 
No, you can choose Bitcoin. They're actually saying it's the most cheap option. On the final screen, before we're asked to pay, there aren't many options to choose from. If we go back, you can change it to a money pack. And the ransom is 300 US dollars. And we basically have to go to money pack and uh, pay that money and get the ID so we can put it into the program. If we have a look at the desktop, you can see that there's a warning here. And it says that, uh, you know, again, it explains if the, even if the program was closed, how to get the virus again so that you um, can rerun it and actually pay the uh, ransom uh, writers. We can't close the program down. So that's basically it. Um, what we're going to do now is if I switch on the OnAccess scanner, we want to actually get rid of the malware. So I, I can minimize that and leave it for a few minutes. But to speed this up for the video, um, let's just run a quick scan of the computer. So we go to the home screen and click on scan my computer. Straight away, it's scanning the memory, it detects it running, so we can stop the scan there. Give it a minute to finish off the scan. Close that and go to the quarantine manager. You can see there's one item, but actually the on-access scanning settings I've got set up here. Um, removed it and it'll clear from the quarantine, there it goes. Um, and that's it. The malicious software has actually gone. But you're left with the uh, wallpaper on the computer changed. And what about your actual files? What about those files that we were able to open before? Let's have a look at them now. They look fine, they look okay. Let's try and load them. Now, so the PowerPoint one can't be loaded. Let's try the spreadsheet. It's saying that the uh, format of the file extension is not valid. So that's no good either. Try the uh, Word document. That's saying there's problems. It's mentioning that it's corrupt and cannot be opened. Click OK. It's saying we can try and recover it, so let's try that. And it can't be recovered because some parts are missing or invalid. Let's try the final Word document. This is actually giving us an option to convert the file. It doesn't look very good. It looks like an encrypted file to me. You try and insert it, yep. It's exactly what you'd expect from an encrypted file. That's a crypto locker running. Because the private key is only available from the malware writers because they keep it on their server, there is no way to decrypt the files. So you want to make sure that your on-access scanning is active, you want to make sure that you're up to date, and then, just like we saw in the beginning of the video, the uh, file will not actually be able to write to disk and it won't be able to run. And you'll avoid this problem. Thanks for watching.